All right. Looks like we're live with uh, Swords of Legends Online today. So, let me finish my cultivation quest because I haven't actually finished that part yet. I'm not actually eligible to uh, queue in PvP just yet. Is my stream title all set up correctly? I think it is. Alright, all bots. So I don't have to win yet, I just have to complete two battles. But I'll try and win anyways. Even without actually any PvP gear. It is against bots after all. I think against the bots, I just need to um, wait for uh, the bots on my team to take the fight. Okay then. Should probably activate my buff. Um, try and kill him off, and now just let my teammate finish him. Our teammate's actually gonna lose. Finish the two uh, tutorial quests. They're checking blood balls, but nothing. Wow. Pretty par for the course on uh, Thursday evening, unseasonal. Maybe I have more luck on Friday. I feel like uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. This may be the way to go. I feel like those are the days for people. I'm more likely to PvP. Thursday, uh, Thursday, Tuesday might be off days, but who knows? Alright, I'm just gonna wait for the bots. This time the bots are all sticking together. Normally they kind of split up. Oh, yeah. I also need to remember to activate my buff. Get away. Oh, they're all coming after me. Uh, try to finish this ball off. Actually, maybe that was a bad idea.
Oh, never mind. I got this. I'm not losing to bots. Maybe it's hopeless. What do you, what do you mean? What the fuck? Even the bot bars are OP. Oh, for uh, dummy sub GP guide is hopeless or where? Or do you mean fighting PvP is hopeless? Well, I'm not sure if the problem is really that people don't know how to PvP. I think it's the people don't want to PvP though. So you might be right. Well, if it's too hard for people to get started on, it wouldn't really be a dummy super PvP guide, right? Because the whole point of you making a guide like that would be for people to be able to get started right away without needing to understand any of the finer details. Alright, let me know when you're back. I don't know if you heard what I said or not. Right now I have to actually win this one. Lots are kind of splitting up this time. Oh wait, that's the bard. Hmm. I keep forgetting to activate the buff. Okay, and I also burned both of my uh, protections, so. But I think I can get in here. Still. Okay. Okay, well, my bot killed the other bot. Did you hear what I said earlier or no? I take that as a no then. So did you hear what I said or no? I'm assuming you didn't hear. Well, I think the whole point of a PvP guide for dummies is that anyone should be able to understand it. So I don't see how you can say that it's too arcane. 
Because that's uh, self-contradictory. A four dummy sky cannot be too arcane by definition. BDO's PvP is too arcane in general? I don't think it is. I think the main problem is that um, there isn't really any indication when you're first starting out to like know what's going on. Because everyone's just moving super fast and there's like basically zero uh, anti-stun super like you know how in like a perfect world you get a buff icon when you're anti-stun like there's none of that on BDO. And then desync, which makes us even harder to understand. Like, did you actually hit them or did they just desync? I feel like those are the three main things that makes it more difficult. But outside of that, I wouldn't say it is. Like, I wouldn't say the game inherently is difficult. It's just... You have these uh, uh, confounding factors. I think analysis video could help potentially, but you pr I think it's probably a mix of both, you know. Like maybe start them off with like the absolute basics. Like just, uh, I was going to say how to move, but that's kind of on a class-by-class -class basis. That's, a, that's not a bad idea. But... But in like an actual 1v1, all of those concepts will be combined, unless you're like gonna intentionally look for new players to fight. And then and then like remove certain skills from your kit. So you just ignore other aspects? Hmm. I guess you could do that. But in a way for all classes? I guess I guess I could I, I think I could see that happening. Like you just wouldn't be overly specific.
Yeah, like you just wouldn't go into the class specifics. But yeah, I, I could see that making sense. What do you mean, but effort, though? You mean you don't want to do it? Oh, you can get good video clips pretty easily. Because you're, you're always in arena. I don't see that being a problem for you. Well, I mean, what do you mean it's hard to get good video clips? Because if you're only going to talk about specific aspects, like you're only talking about combos, then you don't really need the entire fight to be good. You just need the combo to be good. So that should actually be easier. It should be less requirement than what it would take to get like the perfect clips. So you really just need some fights where you feel like that that gives you really good demonstrations of comboing, for example, if that's going to be your first topic. But the rest of the fight could be scuffed or whatever, and they wouldn't know the difference because you're not explaining them. Did you ever fix your problem with Remastered, where you're, you said your PC crashes? No. Well, I mean, just uh, try plugging your GPU again, like I've been saying, but otherwise you can't exactly record and remaster. Today is Thursday, yeah. Alright, now I'm queuing with real players this time. What to do? I don't even have these class icons memorized. Bard, Spearmaster? No, Spell Sword. This is Spearmaster. And he's Blade Storm. I guess probably try to kill the Spearmaster first, I think. They don't seem to have too much defensive skills. But they do the most damage. But you're still probably going to play defensive, but then again, this is Bronze Elo. But let's see what they're going to do. So he's waiting at the back. At the point guy is. I guess go for the blade storm first and see he's engaging. Never mind. He's engaging. Okay. I think I didn't react quickly enough to get out. I should have just gotten out. No one in the desert? I think people nowadays really only go to the desert if they're new players anyhow.
Complete Storm. Wait, that's Assassin. And Slayer. Berserker. Probably Mask and then Fan. Or Fan and then Mask are the ones I should look out for. The coin save. Uh, I guess I could also kill the coin. Actually, none of them are bards, so technically all of them could die. Although we're missing one person, what the fuck? Why do we only have two? Fuck it. The other person says drawing. Oh, the one of them is a... Wait, are these bots? No, one of them is a bot. Oh wait, these are bots, that's why I only have two. I guess that's fine. I hate how they queue us into bots. Pretty much waste a whole minute of of uh, waiting time. You're gonna brainstorm? Alright, see you later. I'll do the faction quest while I'm waiting in queue. The queue shouldn't be this long. Like 1.1k elo. I, heard you. No, I should be instant queuing. I am cute, right? I didn't kill for the wrong thing. All right. Seeing as it's the Rock, cue me in already. How are we at one minute? There we go. One minute in bronze elo. Not bots? Where are they bots? Can't tell. Maybe they are bots, what the fuck? You can't see if they're a bot from here now, can you? You can only wait until they get closer, then you can see their names. But it looks like none of them are... And none of them took the buff. So that probably means they are a bot. And they're also marked as novice. Or some of us are. That's probably how you tell. Because the bots never get the buff. I will just get any of them then. Let's leave some, yeah, sure, whatever. I need to remember to, like, use my buff.
Alright, where'd you go? I need to remember to use my buffs when I engage. And, uh... Hmm. That's the main thing right now. I'm probably just open with the illusionary, maybe even. I wonder if this should really be on one. This is kind of the most important buff. Because it makes my illusionary focus target. And also for the blade pentagram. Hmm. Let me try putting that on once, so I remember the key. Are we queuing up against the bots again? It's a spot matches today. Alright then. Rare for every match to be against the bot. They had like one real player fight so far. This is... This is Bard. And then Berserker Bladestorm, okay. buff again. I didn't mark him. Mark, buff, mark and buff. I need to remember to mark and buff. Alright, let me complete this faction quest. Oh wait, but this is the one where you're forced to watch a cutscene, isn't it? I, rem I remember there was like a forced cutscene here. Yeah. I wonder if I can just escape by going to a queue. Both the Tingshu Plateau and the Shenong Spring are near the main hall. All right, pop the queue for me. The tree that had turned into a ghost in the Shenong Spring is now in seclusion, next to the altar and practicing cultivation. We have an appointment with him. It created a protective barrier for the Shenong Spring. We will also protect the Shenong Spring and the Jiahe Ancestral Temple for it. The warlock already created a seal at the barrier entrance. Pop the queue. The eyes of the formation are at the foot of the two flying snakes. Should anyone from outside wish to interfere, they must first destroy both eyes of the formation. Also, this tutorial is so Other useless. Those pretenders from heaven's children. No one ever comes down here anyways. Alright, escaping this bird. Do I still complete the quest? Wait, cancelled? Oh my god. Someone cancelled. I've got to be kidding me. The next place. Yeah, see, no, no enemy ever comes down here, so I don't know what the point of that tutorial is. Ultimately, all it's a sense of fighting out at the lake, at the river. Oh, 
All right. Have a real queue this time, maybe. Okay. These players? These bots? Every... What's, what the fuck is going on? What do you know, am I? Okay, I guess I'll be 1,150 soon. I'm fighting bots only. Obviously, people are queuing because my team are real players. So, no way they can't just group like six of us together rather than group three and then find, make the rest of them bots. Oh, I guess they're both going up. I'm just gonna go up with them then. I want to beat the one left alone. Oh, what? Fuck. Well, I just wasted that skill because that was out of range apparently. Okay. Cannot be cast. Nice gameplay. Cannot be cast. Cannot be cast. What? I don't know what happened there. I couldn't target that bot at all. Thank you. I think we're done with the quests. Alright. Let me activate the waypoint. I think it's one of these two I need to activate in order to respawn once I die. Healer match. Do bots play healer? Yet they literally. What is going on? We're against another bot team. And it's a healer bot too, because we have a healer on our team. I've never seen this many bots. Not even in the beta. What is going on? Oh, so our teammate didn't even take the buff? Do healers not need a buff? <laughs> or what? Oh. Well, You just focus the healer here? Cannot be cast. Oh, 
All right, let's remember, remember this. Stun. And then... Okay. Kill the healer here. Did our teammate, our teammate didn't die, okay. Okay, it's a good thing that skill follows him. Hey, what's up, Anthony? Student one? Everyone's student one. No, you have to be student one to PvP. Why are there so many people here? Is there an event right now? I don't see it. Last time you watched the stream, I was 22. I didn't I didn't stream this game game though. Oh Discord? Sword seems to be easier to play than Reaper, that's for sure. But for some reason today, all I'm getting are box cues. I don't know if everyone's doing this event or... And that doesn't look like an event to me. But, I, but we had like less bots in um, actual close beta than this. I guess the fight is really here. Why did I go off spell uh, Spearmaster? I felt like Spearmaster didn't really have any defensive skills against range. Because Root in this game is just way too strong. You can't do anything when rooted. Like normal, like in uh, most games, when you're rooted, you can still like attack, or like you can still use your skills that move you. Like you can uh, on perfect world, you can uh, shadow jump to people when you're frozen. You can um, use the tiger leap when you're frozen, but. On this game, when you're rooted, you can't use any of that. Which makes root almost as good as the stun, again, when, if you're a range class, fighting a melee class. Because if they can't hit you with all, any of their melee skill, then there's really no difference to being stunned. Whereas uh, spell, uh, well, blade storm is kind of like a hybrid. You have some range skill and some melee skills, so I feel like at least they have a better chance. If they get uh, frozen, they can uh, if they get rooted. They can always uh, use their ranged PC, which is this skill.
Well, it's not always that simple. Like, there's it's just because the class have a ranged attack doesn't make them good automatically. But I also don't like classes that are too one dimensional. I guess go for Sword Artist or I guess Fan or Coin first, probably. So I want to go for. What the fuck? Um, no, that wasn't really a factor for me. I guess they focused me down first. Maybe I should have healed. I got an instant cue this time. But yeah, that's not really a fact for me. I prefer pure melee classes. I think I'm too aggressive to play range classes. Yeah, this one's definitely a bot team. I noticed that, um, like when you fight a bot, they have like these US4, US3. And when you click a real player, they don't have that. So that's that might be a very, very real possibility that they're bots. Well, technically, this queue doesn't really count because it's a bot fight. So it's whatever. The thing is, we really only have one server right now. So it's unlikely that they're from US2 or US3. Unless there's, uh, channel systems. But why would they, why would I need to know if they're on different channels or not? So I feel like that's how you know for sure they're a bot. We only have US1 right now. Free ranking. I mean, the thing is, I feel like it's kind of pointless to, um, like, start you off at 1k ranking, and then you have to fight boss to whatever arbitrary ranking. Like, just start everyone off at the ranking where they fight players.
That's why it's kind of a waste of time for everyone. I don't think people are that dumb. And I think once people know that bots are a thing, it just becomes extremely obvious. Like, maybe the first few games, they won't know that they're fighting bots, but after a few games, like, once they know, it's just no point anymore. I guess my Q popped. It's actually impossible to kill anyone in this situation because you need to um, combo them twice. Okay, so I think these are real players. Yeah, see, real players, they don't have that US server thing. So, okay, so that's Spearmaster, Sword Artist. Slayer. So probably go for... I guess I probably want to go for the Spell Sword or the Spear Master first. It's going to be the Fan or the Mask. I feel like the yeah, DPS for Bladestorm is much slower, though. You have to do... You have to, like... It takes about... I don't know, like 20 seconds to kill someone. Whereas I think a Spear Master can instantly kill someone. I don't think it means anything. I guess that way you don't have to remember their names. You don't have to remember it's Naru and Henmo. You just have to know it's the mask or the fan. Okay, I'm, I'm way too far away to do that. I think I'm probably playing too aggro. Personally, I don't think the fan coin mass really makes it any easier. I mean, I'm just used to reading player names. Alright, I guess I'll just queue in. See, it's against bots again. Honestly, this is kind of annoying. What do you think people will make extra long names just to make it harder to shot call? I'm pretty sure people will just say the class names. 
He's our dad, or... Let's just use the shortened names. What if there are two classes? There won't be two classes. So you can just use the class name if you're like esports level. I'm sure you can tell who's who. Fighting boss. So, of course, they die instantly. I mean, I don't know. I feel like that skill is kind of strong. Like, you can just go immune for like three seconds, even if you're CC'd, and, when there's, and you can do that twice. And there's like no repercussion for doing that. And then when you come out of it, you also CC everyone near you. Are we against the same guy? No, well, this guy is the same, but these desert two are different, I think. They want to focus Spear Master? I guess we focus Spear Master. Or we could, I mean, Spear Master or Sword Artist, they're both kind of a uh, DPS class. First Berserker can tank a bit more. That's how I understand it. But yeah, if you just have like a bard, I feel like you pretty much have to take them down last. Because they can just stall so easily. And they're not even a tank class, they're a DPS class. Probably go for this spell sword next. Who is that guy? Summoner, tell fourteen K. Bard? Yeah, Bard. I did try all the classes except Bard, but Bard, I also didn't try Summoner, so that's another thing. But I don't know, Bard doesn't feel like a very fun class. Like, they, they seem to be the most stationary class. They're like, um... I like Perfect World Wizard, you know. But wizard, they just stand in one place and cast. Well, maybe you would enjoy Bard if you play this game. 
They even have Black Eye, Black Eye Strike and Strike. It only sucks because the servers makes it suck. Focus Berserker? Interesting. Well, there are, that guy's a bot. We're back. We're back to bot fights again. One player match, one bot match. We got like three player matches so far, and that's it. There really just shouldn't be a bot match once you're past the tutorial. Also, Archer's ability to purge on Perfect Throat is really supposed to be rare. At least originally designed. You were supposed to have Venos for purges. It was only after they introduced the Anniversary Pack where, they, where everyone got uh, purgeable. I'm also not using my dashes at all. I probably should be using that more, but I don't know what, what the best time is to use them. Stuck on the rock. Well, an archer, well, no, it wouldn't be equivalent. Because you have two physical defense buff and only one magical defense buff. So they wouldn't require the equal amount of attacks if the server is properly balanced. Yeah, so then that's what I'm saying. It would it wouldn't take archers only three more attacks. It would probably take them six more attacks, or maybe ten more, against fully buffed opponents. Well, that is a risk they have to take when you play a class like that, but that doesn't make archers just better. Oh, I thought we're not discussing balance. That's what I'm saying, it doesn't make it better.
Yeah, but I thought we're not discussing balance. Is what you said. So, I don't get what you're trying to say then. Who is the Sue person? Oh, my team. I don't usually look at my team. Uh, what are they? No, they're a summoner, actually. If they're green, they're healers. DPS have red icons, healers have green icon. That's the uh that's the difference between them. Okay, I'm overestimating the range of that skill. The skill is not that far away actually. It only follows people after they've already been casted on. But I can't cast it from that far. I think most summoners don't actually use their pet though. At least from what I understand. Summoners are kind of like a burst DPS class instead, I think. And I think when you play Healer Summoner, you don't have your pets. But I'm not sure, I don't really know that class too well. Did I not Q? Did I, did I make Q not go? Or what happened? I thought I queued. I don't really know if this is a world boss, like I don't, I'm not 100% sure what the objective here is. I don't really know what this marker means either. Yeah, you've almost good time, so this is feels messy.
Because no one, I feel like no one can really engage. Either that or no one wants to engage. Because everyone's just kind of backing off and you're just picking, and it's just like picking up one person at a time. It's another bot queue. I don't know why I'm getting so many bot queues. One player, one bot, but the last, but the last team wasn't a bot, wasn't a player either. So it's still, it's still bots. We're just only fighting bots. We've been fighting bot the entire time. I'm pretty sure the last two uh, matches were bots. Get the assassin for some reason. That's weird. It's kind of we want to have to target them to use some of my skills. What, what am I at? I'm almost uh, 1.3k elo. Like, I feel like that's kind of a problem. It's like you have to be like, well, one, like, hypothetically, you have to be 1.5k elo before you stop fighting bots. But everyone gets to 1.5k elo by fighting bots. So if they just remove bots off together, then everyone's elo will be much lower. And it would actually uh, be better than fighting bots all day. What? How did you stun me all the way over there? Oh my god. That's some range. I thought it was safe because this guy was supposed to make me immune to CC for like a second. I also wonder if I should actually use this. Incre max HP has increased but does not deal critical hit damage. But I don't know. I guess because this class is more of a multi-hit attack class. Like maybe the crit isn't as effective on this class somehow? I have no idea. I don't really know how the um, damage mechanic in this game works. Crit isn't double damage in this game. I don't think. I think it's like... Increased DPS mastery, 36% extra damage crit hits, but it also uh, reduces critical hit damage in PvP. So it might actually not be that good. 
I only have like 10% chance to crit, but each crit only does 36% extra damage. And it's less in PvP. Less than that in PvP. Okay, finally we get a real match. But this is a healer match. So... And we're, we have double spell sword. Blade Storm and Sword Artist. We're up against Spearmaster and Berserker. And it's a Reaper healer. Do we focus the healer? I think we all have to focus the healer every time. But I'm not sure. Yeah, this is a Reaper healer. I think there's like only three healer classes in this game. So you've probably seen all of them now. Makes that too. Okay, I guess we're focusing him instead. Shit. I think I can get him down. So, there's like, what, five classes in the game? Six classes? Spearmaster, Berserker, Reaper, Summoner, Bard, Spellsword. And then each class has two subclasses. So that's why I can't play as either ranged a Spellsword or melee Spellsword. Uh, Reaper can play as the uh, DPS or Healer. Summoner has DPS or Healer. Bard has DPS or Healer. Uh, um, and then Spearmaster is DPS or tank, but you don't play tank in PvP. And then Berserker is also DPS and tank. So it's like... It doesn't really make sense to just say the class, because you also have to play the talk about like what their mastery is. Because that actually changes their entire kit. Like if you're playing a healer, you actually can't DPS. But it's like, I mean, I guess it is a specialization, but it's really more of completely different classes, I would say. I mean, okay, so they share a few skills. They share a few skills, but they play mostly differently. I guess you can kind of think of it like BDO. Where you have uh, Succession and Awakening. They're the same class, but the playstyle completely changes. And the skills they focus on aren't even always the same. Yeah, it's, it's more like Awakening versus Succession BDO than like Sage versus Demon on PW. But Sage versus Demon, you pretty much have the same skill, but... I forgot to... Okay. What the fuck? Wait, why, why is our team losing to boss? Be 
cannot be cast. Bro, our team is just losing to bots. What the fuck is going on? Can I get a heal maybe? No, we don't have heals. I tried to find a heal, we didn't get a heal. I thought usually heals spawn at this point. Or do heals not spawn if it's 1v1? I guess that's probably just misplayed then. I should have focused them down if I knew there wasn't going to be a heal. I thought there was going to be a heal. What the fuck? How did I die? Okay then. I guess the Spearmaster was hitting me, but with this game, you can't really tell if you're being attacked or not sometimes. What happened to the Q? It would re-Q, I guess. Q dropped. Real players? No, bots again. All right, let's let I mean that's like one real player, two bot games now. We better not lose to bots again. I don't know how we lost last game, to be honest. I think I attacked the healer first, but maybe my teammate was on someone else. But I'm gonna try attacking the, bo uh, the healer again. I select them? There we go. Cannot be cast. Okay. Guess I get stunned instantly. Cannot be cast. He's uh tanking right now. What the fuck? Oh our spearmaster did so much damage. That guy was like full HP and he died instantly. What the fuck? Oh, at least we're getting fast cues. Is it gonna be players? Give us players? No, it's, it's bots again. Bro, that's three now. One, two, three. One, two, three. Yeah, our teammate says they're bots. This game has players? Hey, Armin. Uh, I mean, yeah, it has players. 
I just don't know why I'm not getting them. Because obviously everyone on my team are players. So I don't know why they can't just like take three of us and then take another three, put us together, rather than like separate us and put them again, put us against bots. I don't know. This game's kind of this matchmaking is kind of scuffed. Uh, I mean, it's not even though because. Everyone on my team are players, so it's like, let's just, let's just put the players together. Like, I don't, I don't know why they're giving like an instant Q, but then Q against bots when there's uh, probably a bunch of players by Elo who's also queuing. And now I'm at the uh, 1.3k, 1.35k Elo. One real fight to four bot fights. And then sometimes it gives me like a, a two minute queue and then it's still against bot somehow. I don't know how it decides whether to queue for one minute or like one second or two minutes. And then decides to give me bots in both scenarios. To activate the uh, respawn point over here. And actually spawn closer. So now we're at one point uh, one minute thirty seconds. Better not be a bot again, or else I'll be one for five. Fucked up again. Imagine when you humanize to fight against bots. I don't know. This matchmaking was better in the beta. I don't know what they did to somehow make it worse on release. in 30 seconds. Maybe now's my chance to try and kill someone. Ah, oh, I didn't mark him. So I was taking I was doing split damage. Wow, three minute queue, that's the longest so far. New record.
Damn, I didn't kill Steel. I feel like I should use the range spec in these situations. But I don't play that way. Okay. Didn't get the kill. Well, at least we got the Q. It better not be versus bots again. It's versus bots again. This is actually a meme. Because I'm queuing up with different teams each time. So it's not like we we don't have people queuing. I just don't get why I can't just like take the people that are with me and then find three other people. This is what, one for five now? I'm sure this is Bard. I want to kill him last, but our team is going for him first. Alright, let me get out of here. Don't want to die to boss. Probably should have used the... Uh... Probably should have used my anti stun to dodge out. Even the Reaper bots can't DPS. That's funny. I wonder if the bots are like an indication of which class is the easiest to play. Because the Bard bot always does super well, whereas the Reaper bot doesn't. It's like the devs are telling you this class is so easy, but even the bots can play it. But, if you, I, but I don't know, I think people said Spearmaster was supposed to be easier to DPS. I'm getting focused now. Oh, he got away. Is this game similar to Swordsman Online? Not really, not at all. Swordsman Online is way more... Uh, I mean... I, I don't want to say, like, takes more skill, but I kind of feel like it does. Because there's, like, way more mechanic in Swordsman Online. It's more about... In Swordsman Online, it's more about 
how do you like avoid getting CC'd or hit at all? Yeah, Source Online is kind of more similar to BDO, I would say. Like, you know how on BDO, it's like, if you get CC'd once, you just die instantly. Source of Online is kind of like that, but you can take two CCs. So in Source of Online, you have like block mechanics, um, you have dodge mechanics, and then you also have like a bunch of, uh, you have like block break mechanics, you have counter mechanics, grab mechanics, stuff like that. And you kind of like need to know them well and how they all interact with each other and stuff like that. So that you just don't get CC'd at all. Don't even get hit. And then that's how you like be good at Source of Online. Whereas I feel like in this game, it's kind of like you have combos, but everyone hits each other just fine. So it's like max, more like maximizing your DPS. This is more like PWI, you know? It's more like damage trade, but do it in a way that kills them before they kill you. Like that, like this, like that's how I would say the difference is. Yeah, I, BDO is more similar to a Swordsman Online, for sure. Holy fuck, I have no FPS. Like, I'm sure this game takes skill, but it's just different areas of skill. It's like Perfect World takes skill, but it's different skill than BDO and SMO. But definitely, I think, a lot more mechanical, I think, Swordsman Online is. Because not only do you have to, like, know all of these, uh, interactions between, like, protections and attacks, but you also have to... There's also a specific uh, cancels you have to perform at certain times. You have to be very good at timing as well. It's like uh, kind of like stun locking on PWI. Some some of the mechanics you have to time it perfectly. Bro, it's another game against bots. It's been one hour and 30 minutes. This is like one for six now. I'm actually just being mean. I'm already capped. Oh no, I'm close to being capped at the amount of maple sales I can earn. Where did he finish the tutorial? You don't need like a one hour long tutorial. And we also have like one bot who's like literally just doing nothing. So this wasn't even like a challenge. 
Oh, it's just 3v2 bots. I don't know what they programmed him to do. But he just ditched his two teammates. And then came back to suicide at the end. Alright, 1.3k yellow now. Is this high enough to not get a bot mash? I guess we will wait and see. I wonder if we're actually like making any progress in this. I wonder if this guy is actually good. I don't think it does any damage. I'm gonna, I guess I'm out of here. This skill range is actually really far though. Play pentagram. Maybe I should save it for long range. See, I can't engage in and they're not going to engage out. Alright, I guess it was this heal. This heal is kind of crappy, actually. I thought that was supposed to increase by 100%. Healing rate. If 100% heal rate is like 80, I don't know how much regular healing rate would be. I don't know how bad that would be without it. What are all these eggs on the ground? Wait, what? Okay. I don't think I'm going to kill him. Cannot be cast. Cannot be cast. Oh. Combat log. Tell me this isn't bots. No, this is fucking... Oh my god. This game is a meme. I have unclaimed rewards. What do I have to do to not get a bot fight? I 
something to become a bot? <laughs> I guess so. Because bots are the only ones fighting real players these days. Oops, I actually accidentally burned my uh, skill too soon. Oh, my teammate killed both of them, though. Just instantly. I didn't even do damage. Are approaching 1.4k elo now. Can we not get a bot match? It literally is all from boss. I don't know what this game is thinking. Uh, this guy's being healed though. Alright, kill that guy. Where am I getting points from? Oh. Couldn't kill him. Doesn't that suggest I'm up with our confidence in the game? Um, I think it's kind of a bad practice, but it is also a common thing these days. But yeah, it's like the thing is they put in bots like too soon. Order matchmaking is just scuffed. I don't know which one it is. I think in an intro. You're starting with the editing? Rather than uh, recording the footage first? That's a uh, interesting way to go about it. Why not get the footage first before you edit? What's up, Dante? Hate your life right now? Why? What happened? <laughs> Can't be still from the wizard. That was like yesterday. Damn, that guy was a bard. I couldn't even assassinate him. Uh, 
another episode of Will It Be A Bot? It, and it is a bot. What the fuck? Oh my god. Oh my god. Just no. Alright, I take it back. You can uh, you can go keep molding about the wizard from BDO. Know, the uh, wizard can't be on the wall. In RBF. Well, I think Neo is making a video because there's probably no PvP right now. One point four K Elo. Damn, three people just jumped on me instantly. Because if we can make uh, tutorial videos to like try and promote people to play BDO and do seasonal, then maybe there will be PvP. But who knows? I don't really know if this problem is people don't know how to PvP versus they don't want to PvP. If it's the second one, not much we can do about that other than try and like I guess it'll be more of a marketing issue try and get the video into the eyes of people who do want the PvP This is so mean. You can only snipe people off on the side. I don't know if this is like better or worse than BDO where everyone just uh, teleports in and spam AoE. No one, no one engaging at all versus everyone face smashing keyboard. Who would win? Oh, 
You got the kill, but at what cost? Actually, none of them are chasing me. I guess it's fine. What's my queue time? Three minutes now? What elo do I have to beat to fight real players? I guess that's that's literally the question of the day. This faction even can't be that good. Is that Twizzy? Wait, was that Twizzy? to find Twizzy. Oh, let me do this queue first. Will it be a bot? Take your bets. God damn it. This is like one for eight now. I swear, Anthony, you, you, you must have jinxed me. You said there was one bot, one player. Now we're only getting bots. <laughs> I don't know, scuffed matchmaking? Did they like fuck up their matchmaking server when they did the maintenance yesterday? What's this boss having their pre-game ritual? By what pre-game ritual do you mean? You mean where they just stand still and do nothing? That's why they're taking so long to queue. I, I think it's the problem with the matchmaking. I don't know what they said it to. Oh, I see Twizzy. Damn. He's running away. Bro. <laughs> He's camping the guards. God damn it. Healing wasn't good enough. My heal is shit. It's actually so bad. It's supposed to re see, it says regenerate 43 points every second. 
But then this says it increases regeneration by 100%, so shouldn't that mean... I guess it's not that good still. So that's still only like 80 every second. Yeah, that's still pretty bad. Alright, I have to kill this guy first. Actually, he's not even taking any damage. What? Okay. I'm approaching this strategically. I guess, uh... Alright, he's being healed. I guess let's just enter the queue. I feel like large-scale large PvP doesn't really work in this game. But that's just me. Nine block matches now? Like... There's no way everyone who I've been killing was just queue for one match and then stop queuing. Like I ha like they have to still be queuing. I swear. So why not put me in a match against them? I guess the team wants the high ground. Probably go for the kill line, I'm assuming. Oh, I forgot to mark him. Fuck. Cannot be cast. Cannot be cast. Cannot be cast. Cannot be cast. Okay, I guess our team's focusing the DPS instead. Oh wait, I didn't mark him. Fuck. Meeting? Alright, intro your meeting. One point five K soon at this rate. Okay. Maybe I try to kill this guy. Never mind this stream has just got him. Or not. Ah. Uh, 
can catch up to that. Honestly, this skill doesn't seem really all that good. You attended your meeting early. Very diligent worker, I see. Cannot be cast. Get this guy, maybe. Cannot be cast. Ah, nope. I probably did. Cannot be cast. Or not? But... Cannot be cast. What the fuck is going on? to be at the side. Bro, everyone is a bard. I think we got them now. Cannot be Cannot Never mind, he has two. And then he gets healed. Think so? Maybe this is the reverse jinx. Yep, it's the reverse jinx. We're against real players this time. <laughs> I guess the universe does love proving you wrong. Why, right, thank you very much. Damn, how do you fight real players? Assassin or Spearmaster, I would presume? I'm assuming Spearmaster. I guess we'll see. So they're taking the high ground, I guess. So... What do we do here? I guess we focus Konos then. And now we can focus the Steer Master. Okay. I guess our teammates just uh, kill both of them before I can, before I can do anything. I didn't realize I can't jump up the rocks. I guess. Looks like you have to take the stairs.
Did the cure automatically cancel? Wait, why couldn't I move? <laughs> what the fuck? Hey, like, what even is the point then? Like, why do you have objective points where there's just a bunch of guards? Like, are you just not supposed to fight for that point? I don't, I don't get it. Real players. I guess uh, that's the magic number. 1.5k. Hey! How do you wave hello? <laughs> whoa, whoa. That's excitement, that's whoa. praise. Wait, which one is hello? I'm also literally not on the first menu. Well, the fight's about to start. Who do we focus? Sword Artist? Spear Master? Slayer? I guess we go for like the coin or fan. Nice immediately. Cannot be cast. Cannot be cast. Cannot be cast. That's the thing with uh, Spear Master. Prevent him from getting the kill. If I think if we're in the heal zone, whoever uh, I think it heals both of us. If I'm not mistaken. All these cars are aggroing immediately. Sigh. Yeah, I don't I don't really get the point. Of the guards. Like, are you not supposed to fight? Do I understand this incorrectly? Because that's what it seems like. The only reason the guards are there is to stop you from fighting. But I thought this was like a PvP zone. You thought that was Katara? <laughs> it's been watching uh, Avatar again.
But that's not a spawn, though. I guess probably go for the Spear Master. That's what I'm thinking, but I guess we'll see what the team does. Or I guess we could always go for... Hmm. Oops. Okay. I guess our team's going for the Bard. That's kind of interesting. I thought you usually don't go for the bard first, because they can just ice block. Get him. This guy's from the solo. I wonder if I should have gone for the bard, because the team was going for the bard, but... Two of them were also on me, so I don't know how the team died. Meeting? Alright, see you later. Okay. Let's just change his Berserker. But they both went for me first last time, but my teammate still died. Hmm. How should I play this? Okay. I guess maybe let maybe I should observe what my teammate's going for. But I'm personally thinking the mask is probably a higher priority. Oh, okay, we're going for him. Just gonna have to cut it. Okay, so 
I thought the team meant to go for the bard. But then they backed off, so... So I'm thinking maybe I shouldn't have uh, engaged onto the bard. Because then I wasted my CC. And I probably should have just kited more. I also need to get my range judgment better. Okay, see, I'm not really messing up with the range. I don't know why. You have to be closer than how far you can really realistically hit. Hey! Hey! Okay, so we got... Berserker, Sword Artist. Wait, how did I greet him? What the fuck? Guess I had him selected, that's why I greeted him. Let's go for the Bell Sword in this situation? We got him. I just I forgot to take him. To remember to tag people every time I target them. I also so my skills don't attack properly. Okay. This guy's just. I just wanted to kill him. I didn't even get the kill. Different team this time, different players. Actually, this sword artist is the same, but let's have summoner this time. I think summoner, they said, uh, doesn't have a lot of defense. So that's another potential target, I think.
Okay. I guess they're just gonna fight that spawn. I mean, sure. Oh, I guess they just all get stunned. dies here. But our teammate's also dead, so... Uh... I, can, I think I kill him here? Okay, but... Ah, uh, he gets me right away. Cannot be cast. Cannot be cast. Cannot be cast. Okay, well, I die here. Okay. If I had, like, one more NT stun... Or one more CC break... I probably could have won that, but... Uh, maybe my... I think my mistake was that I focused too much on the summoner. I thought I had the teammate with me on the summoner, but I didn't. And also, hmm... Did they have a heal some at the start? Because... I felt like uh, his HP went back up. What the fuck is this? What is this RP? <laughs> Guess we're RP. They better not be doing this the entire game. Alright, there we go. Okay. I think I missed my attack entirely. Okay, I better get out. Okay, let me get out here. Fuck. I just needed to be a bit closer because uh, to cast Illusionary Blade and I would have resisted. Or maybe I should have just casted it anyways. I wasn't paying attention to my HP. Alright, I'm gonna take a quick break. I'll be right back.
All right. I'm back. I guess I didn't die once I uh, respawned into the open world. Oh, it works for me. Got the queue, so doesn't matter. Bard, Berserker, Spearmaster. What the fuck is that sound? The fucking airplane? Oh, it's the Spear Master's Repair. Sounds like a fucking airplane. Okay. I guess it's gonna be the, the, the fan, the Spear Master, they're gonna go for first. But let's see what, what actually happens. Oops. I dashed by accident. So they're going, he's going up. Okay. I guess we locked him there. Oh, damn it. I don't know, that skill's kind of useless. I think I'm just gonna drop that skill. I don't really, I don't really see the use for it. This guy's being killed, though. Honestly, I don't really know how we're supposed to play like this. Like, you attack one person, and everyone just attacks, and there's nothing you can really do.
Like, is this supposed to wait for them to come to you? Like, that's just not content. Maybe we can get in. Now, sleep since think they just run back to their team. You can't kill them fast enough. Cannot be cast. Cannot be cast. Cannot be cast. Like the only way is if you go deep into their team to pick off one person. Or just wait for your team to open up on one person. Like, what, what type of PvP is this? Like that, you just have to wait for your team to all attack one person, I guess. What's the point of moving this thing to the storage anyway? So I'm not even getting out of this. No one's really actually doing it. Target, I didn't target it. Okay. Okay, I have to get them down to at least 50% HP before you even have a chance to kill them in uh, 1 CC. But then they can just run away. Once you start, as soon as you start even hitting them. Like, we have so many people, but barely anyone ever dies. Alright, lock him in. I, I guess I lag? Okay. Nice servers? <laughs> what the fuck was that? Was that me or was that the uh, server? Because I don't think the stream BC did it. If the stream was going fine, then that's the server. Right, what's the actual quest reward? Nothing? Did it end my matchmaking somehow? I picked it up? Oh yeah, if you think I can change my uh, pet. Do something that looks better. Now he just dies. It's because he overexerted himself. Overextended. Doesn't have the movements to go to get off. What did he even do though? He says work. Didn't see him kill anyone.
Oh, we got a Q. But it's against bots again. Oh my god. Damn, as soon as I go AFK. It's just back to bot fights. Or did I drop too much elo? Not really. My elo's still the same. Alright, against spots, I guess let's kill whoever. Probably doesn't matter too much. Cannot be cast. Cannot be cast. Okay. They're just both going after me, I guess. But they did no damage. Because Reaper bot? Actually, I was taking doing split damage. Okay. Let's try and hunt down this person. Loot. What loot? I didn't do shit. I didn't get shit either. Because he was anti stun. That's why I was able to walk out of the zone. Nope, you got away. I guess all of our teammates run away. I guess I'll run as well. Oh, there's the loot. I didn't even see it until now. What did I get though? Oh, there it is. That's what I got. What about the money? Did I just get the money automatically? I don't see money on the ground. Guess I must have. Did I not press Q again? Oh my god. Or do I or do, does the Q end when I pick up the thing? I, I'm not sure. I keep I keep uh not being in Q. I don't remember if I didn't queue or if I, it ended by itself. Alright. A 
of enough life. I guess it's better to take the 6% than the 5%, maybe. This is pretty mean. You can use this in here. <laughs> Okay. I guess probably... Oh. They're just gonna hide there. We wait for him to come up? Why did he take no damage? He was not taking any damage. I think he wasn't defensive. I think he had a defensive buff on, probably. Should have switched targets. Fuck. Like, but I've noticed I can't really tell if they have a defensive buff on. Like, at least when they're anti-stunned, they're glowing yellow. And when they have an offensive buff on, it shows up over their head. Hmm. I don't know this if they have a defense buff on or not. Most of the time. What? I didn't get him. I didn't get her. Wait, what, what, what am I targeting? I'm not targeting her. That was some scuffed targeting. It wasn't even aiming at who I was trying to aim at. That was super scuffed. Ah. Uh, Okay. So they can. So he stunned me through my field. They can. Uh, when they pass through the field, I thought it stuns them. But I guess their stun lands first. Q. Same teammates, I think. 
real players. What is the elo? Like, I'm at the same elo. Hmm. I need to be... So, Summoner, Spell Sword, and Bard. I don't know, maybe I keep the attack buff. I think this is the same guy. My mistake last time was going too hard for the summoner, so this time I have to pay more attention to who the teammate's going for. Okay. Guess let's wait and see. Okay, so they're going for high ground immediately. Do we go for high ground? I think we do. Oh, only one of us went for high ground. Cannot be cast. Okay. Okay, we can focus them down here. Cannot be cast. Maybe. Okay. Too far away. Same mistake. Same mistake again. But I think we just get him here. They're like the last one. Okay, so at least I recognized that I was being hit and then I dashed out this time. But my DPS was still kind of scuffed. He got out. So that means I'm out too. Okay, how is he faster than me? What? Wait, everyone walks at the same speed, I thought. How is he catching up to me? I thought I'd do double dash. Can I not kill again? Wonder if I can. I'm too far away. Where's my Q? It's not popping this time. Alright. Maybe. Cannot be cast. Fuck. Bro, it's actually so hard to get anyone. Back to bots. But I won the last match. My needle should be even higher now. How are you back to bots?
Okay. Let's just kill them. Maybe I can even just completely ignore the assassins. Just go for the, go for the blade storm. At least I did most damage. Super model. <laughs> what the fuck? Not really helping me not fight against bots, though. Oh, one of them died. Why can't I target him? There we go. Ah. Uh, right, he got away. When you were up against me, weren't I lower ranking? Yeah, I don't know. I'm at 1.5 now, and now I'm back to bot somehow. Like, this is why you should just shouldn't program bots into your game. Because they always just like, because it's scuffed matchmaking. Oh, they just people are just doing one hit and then running away. Like no one wants to commit. Okay, against real players again. I guess you are just the jinxer. If you say bots, we get real players. If you say players, we get bots. I can be guest of the maple, whatever that means. This isn't even maple anymore. I guess it's called maple seal, but this is garden of blades. Is it the same team? Maybe they're a machine learning trip model. Oops. So, okay, so I think the problem is you can't focus the Spear Master first if they go in with defense buff, but I can't tell if they have defense buff or not. It's the same mistake. 
I should just assume they're going in with defense buff. Focus the and focus the uh other guy first maybe. But that's why it's because my my TPS is getting negated. So that's just not helpful at all. I don't know, I, th I think I'm just like focusing on the wrong person. You need to be aware of when they pop their defense buff. Okay. But now we're not getting a Q. Alright, this Q time is worse than Alien's Q time. Did I not? Did I not mark him? I thought I did. That's just strong Q. Okay, so we have Spearmaster again and Summoner again. I think both of them have a defensive buff that uh, mitigates damage. I need to be aware of that. I'm not sure how I can tell though. Because I don't recognize what the buff looks like. Yeah, I know, but he's barred, so I don't think I want to go for him first. Yeah, I'm still playing. What's up, Neil? Welcome back. What the fuck? Okay. So they're just focusing me. I'm gonna go for him real quick. Okay, well. I don't know what I'm supposed to do at the end there. Should I have focused down the bard for instead? I thought he still had another ice block he could have used. So I'm joining the intros because of the process of making them gives you ideas. Okay. I guess, uh... That was like a discussion from an hour ago. I forget what the context was, to be honest.
Yeah, Bard has Black Eye Strike and Strike, so I guess if you like playing Wizard, maybe you'll like playing Bard, like I was saying to earlier. How did he get out? Ah. Uh. But now he runs to his teammate. Okay. I can just calmly walk around. I still can't focus them down. Also, not sure how much be contributing to this. I guess it's basically how much damage you have inflicted. So you want to DPS the boss down and do a lot of damage in order to be the one that can lose. And it's a kill. It's a faction effort. Oh, I was actually out of uh, sword man no? or sword intent. I couldn't finish him off, but he died to the OT. Okay, well, now I'm being targeted. minutes now. I honestly wonder if I should just be killing for like 10v10 at the same time, then just do whichever one pops up first. Because this arena queue is scuffed. You should not take this long to queue at my elo. Fuck it, I'll just do I'll just queue both at the same time. I'll just take whatever one goes first. Oh I guess as soon as I queue it up, the arena queue pops. was a healer this time. Now I'm not actually sure. I don't think I had a, heal a fight against the healer versus real players yet. Actually, maybe I did have one. I think we still target down the healer first, maybe. I think I keep the attack buff and stuff taking HP.
Do I? I guess I try going for the healer. I guess the healer just abandons his team. Bards just nuked the other guy. He did 23k. This HP jumped so fast. I will queue for both. Kill steal. It's all kill steal here, though. Maybe I'm in pink here. Ah, uh, he got healed. He got healed. I'm in queue for both, and uh, nice of them are popping. Although the uh, car, uh, uh, the battlegrounds queue ends in like 20 minutes. Technically, they changed the arena queue to end at uh, 4 a.m., but. I might just stop at 1 a.m. I guess we get a arena queue. We have a oh that's dissonance, never mind, that's not Reaper. I thought the Reaper some of these icons look so similar. I thought Re Reaper and Bard look the same. And the Spearmaster is a trident. Or no, not the Spearmaster, the sword artist. It's a trident, it looks like. Rather than a sword. I think he, I think on this map people would generally take the high ground. I'm not sure why though. Mask and coin is what I'm thinking. But now they now they're taking the low ground and we got the high ground. So what happens here? We're going for this guy. Oh 
Okay. Didn't he have another ice block he could have used? Okay, just this guy left. Oh, fuck. My range was bad. Ah, fuck. I don't know why. I keep thinking that skill is longer than it really is. I guess at least I'm Silver League now. There better not be any more bots at Silver. Okay, I'm gonna enter queue. I guess we're queuing for Battleground this time. Cause that's the queue that popped. It's such an intricate countdown system. It plays different sounds at different countdown levels. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go for that guy. Get the kill though. I this kill's kind of scuffed. I have to like even after I hit them, I have to target them again. This is 10v10. No, it's not 5v5. It's 10v10 with objectives. Looks like so the next objective is to king of the hill in the middle. Someone's healing him though. Can I get him? Okay, I think I just kill him here. Is it a better game mode? Compared to what? Compared to Red Battlefield on BDO? For sure. <laughs> so many things are better than Red Battlefield on BDO. You don't need to hate it. It's just, tr it's just the truth. Uh, he got healed. The main problem with this game though is that like... It seems very difficult to engage.
right, I have to kill him. I'm, I'm getting out of here. Cannot be cast. We're losing the middle. But I need to go back. I need to go back to base to heal. This isn't my base. I I honestly don't think anyone likes RBF as a game mode. Like even if you're playing a class with advantage, like Sage or Wizard, I still don't think it's good as a game mode. I guess... What happened to the team? Where did my team go? We're, we're losing the middle now. What the fuck? How is he hitting me from up there? What kind of BS is this? Send me through the floor. Like, you can like PvP, but if, even if you like PvP, that doesn't make the game mode good. It just makes it an avenue to PvP in. But the game mode itself is still bad, I think. Okay, I have to get out. Too many people here. Shit. Let me jump back to my teammate. I think I'm dead here. Never mind. Should I have a yeah, flag is about to spawn? I think we I think we lost this game mode. Or maybe. Actually no. We still have to we, just, we can still win if we uh, get the flag, but they have advantage here. Friendly, it looks like. So everyone really just needs to rush the flag now. Why am I not spawning? Although technically we can still actually win by objectives. Okay. Cannot be cast. Why, why is the camera so close? I can't see anyone. What the fuck?
Oh, they're just winning all the objectives now. I think too many people try to get the side objective. Maybe she just have not gotten the side objectives at all. Because in that situation, we could have won if we got all the side objectives, but we clearly didn't. Spell sword, spear master, assassin. Do they actually have a reaper this time? I don't think I've seen a human reaper yet. At least not fought against one. I guess really anyone we can kill, except maybe the reaper last. This reaper start to kill. He's going hard. Still not going off. Okay. I think I'm overestimating how fast my sword intent regenerates. I don't think it regenerates that fast. I need to add in a star shower or something in the middle to regenerate it manually. Like, even right now, he's not even attacking me. What? Fuck it. I'm going to queue, I guess. Silver League One. What Elo is Twizzy at? I think it was at sixteen hundred, right? Maybe I can't be Twizzy, Silo. Go for Summoner. I guess uh, Summoner's as good of a class as any to go for. Wait, his name is Kim Chum Heal, but he went DPS. Maybe he went meant to go for Healer route? He 
He's not even healing anyone. Just have a uh, group to deal with now. I keep missing my um, RMB, LMB. I keep messing up that rotation somehow. Okay, so battleground is over. Yeah, I should be I should kinda of be continuously cycling that. But somehow I'm not doing that properly. That goes on our team earlier. Another assassin. Okay. Try and focus down the spear master or maybe the uh, the uh, berserker, but they both have a defense buff they can use. Need to be careful. I feel like move their buffs like down here maybe so i can actually see if they self buff defense or not it's kind of hard to see check what we got Okay, I survived him. Good. That was close. Who healed me, though? I'm not sure. Did we? We didn't have a healer, so. I not sure how I got a how I got a heal there. Uh Okay, well now I just get ganked. Why can't I chase him down? But people can chase me down. Now we're back to slow queuing. No more battlegrounds. I guess this will probably be the last one. After that, I'm leaving.
Damn, we don't have the uh, healer healing pad anymore. Kind of annoying. Cannot be cost. All right. But now I'm just gonna die. Or not. He's just uh standing there in one place. Not doing anything, okay. Someone heal me. <laughs> just gonna Just gonna die to DOT. Alright, well at least I can meditate. I guess the event must have ended, because everyone left. Wait, what's that event even good for anyway? So I don't even know what I got. Alright, so this is going to be the last queue, I think. How come I can't check my ranking when I'm in this map, but I can't check in the other map? That's kind of weird. Alright, our Berserker here is just wasting his skill. Um, yeah, I guess probably go for the coin first, I think. If I can. Yeah, so he's staying way back. that about is this game any good um i mean i i don't know if you come from uh bdo or not so I don't, uh but if you are then this game isn't like really anything like bdo it's kind of a much slower paced game much more about like damage trading and trying to DPS your opponent, out DPS your opponent before they can out DPS you. It's not like BDO where it, there's heavy focus on positioning and uh, trying to not get CC'd at all. I think this game is kind of more like who can DPS better and uh, I guess essentially rotating your skills to negate your opponent's DPS while you DPS them. So it's kind of like a different vibe. So if you enjoy that type of game i guess you could say uh you could try it but if not then like if you're if you're more of a bdo player who enjoys the bdo style then this game might not be for you so your mileage may vary the main thing that i guess is good about this game is that it does have arena queue whereas bdo still doesn't have that and it has a better game mode than rbf so Um, and you don't really need there's there's not like a huge commitment to playing this game Because all you need to do is just level up to uh, max level and then you can just queue in You don't have to like do a bunch of grinding uh, beforehand like you do on BDO 
I guess those would be the uh, main pluses. But in terms of combat itself, maybe not so much. Uh, so for in terms of gearing, there's two different sets of gear. We have the there's PVE gear and PVP gear. And if you're doing PVP, you only need to use the PVP gear, and you get currency to buy PVP gear by doing PVP. So so you farm PVP to do PVP. So that's kind of good, and it's but much better than BDO system. There's no pay to win either, because the only thing you can buy from the cash shop is outfits, and that's pretty much it. So you can kind of see if you uh, if it's clear enough. Like all of these gear, they have a bracket PvP after it, and these are the specific PvP gears that you get by doing PvP. Uh, RNG, not that I've seen. I mean, we have crit, and we have like perception, which I think has a chance to reduce damage. But I'm not sure if that has a major impact on like the actual game itself or not. In terms of like actual combat, I haven't seen RNG. Like there's no RNG resist. So damage could potentially be a bit RNG, but I'm probably not really good enough at this game to really be able to tell the difference, to be honest. Can you upgrade your gear? Uh, yes, there is gear upgrading, but so far it doesn't like this RNG either. So basically, uh, one sec in the loading screen. So you basically get these PvP seal stones, and you need like a certain number of them to just uh, get a plus one enhancement. Um, and as far as I can tell, uh, I think the best gear right now only goes up to plus three, and up to plus three, it's there's been no RNG so far. I don't know if going forwards, like in the future, there might be RNG in upgrade or not, but so far we haven't seen any. At least I haven't seen any. Um, right now the gears I have only go up to plus one, but, uh, I can get better gear by doing PvP, and then that goes up to plus three. And I'm not 100% sure how you get better seal stone, because there's a uh, PvP seal stone one. And then I think, um, you get more seal stone from PvP, and then you can combine multiple of them into higher tier seal stones that's needed to upgrade higher tier gear. Yeah, like in terms of actual game design, like the content, no RNG, no pay to win, like actual ranked arena, like that's all good. It's just that if you're used to BDO type form of combat, it might be a bit iffy. So that you'll have to decide for yourself. But it certainly doesn't lack content, is what I would say. The only other thing that may be a problem is that uh, the PvP queues are time limited. Um, so the so there's fifteen versus fifteen and ten versus ten PvP queues. And they go from 10 a.m. server time to 1 a.m. server time the next day. And then the arena queue is from 10 a.m. to 4 a.m. So if you happen to play during like from 4 a.m. to 10 a.m. during that time period, 
then you might not be able to actually play. But if you're playing during any other time period, then you're, that's not a problem. Like right now is uh, 1 a.m. server time, so I can play Arena for another three hours. But already we can. Uh, the uh, 15 versus 15 has already been closed, so we can't play that anymore. But I'm probably going to get off soon, though. It's get. It is getting a bit late. And there's a few other things I need to do that's uh, not game related. <laughs> so I'm, I think I'm going to finish this queue and then uh, end the stream. Thanks for, uh, thanks for coming though. Hey. Who do we go for here? The Reaper is already in stealth. Maybe I go for Kant. He seems to be taking damage. Okay, it's just him left. Where did he go? There he is. Alright, that was uh, not a bad round. Welcome back, Neil. But uh, you came back just when I was about to end the stream. Am I sad? I don't know. Maybe I'm worried that you might be sad because I'm about to end the stream. But yeah, thanks everyone for watching though. So that's going to be it for tonight. So take care and uh, good night everyone. Yep. I think uh, that's enough PvP for now. Gonna take a break and then uh, do as do like other things maybe edit the video if i edit some videos if i had time or maybe just go sleep so